Well, good evening, and here we are at another one of our Facebook Live sessions. Uh, we've got uh, a new beer to stow tonight, one we haven't actually featured before, and it's a beer that's only just been released this week. A lockdown special, we've got a new beer, and this beer is called Blonde Bombshell. There it is, I'll tell you a little bit about the beer in a moment. I'll tell you about the lady on the, um, on the label there, and um, uh, uh, we can enjoy this together. So... Blonde Bombshell, it's 5.9%. It's a one-off, it's a stronger version of our Billericay Blonde. So it's based on the same, uh, very similar recipe. So the malt bill is the same. So it's just based on mainly pale malt with a little bit of caramel. And the hops are just the same that go into our Billericay Blonde. Just a much stronger version of it. Hence Blonde Bombshell. Okay, so it's, uh, this first bottle I've opened of this. So I, it's um, hopefully I hope there'll be a pleasant surprises. Where we um, open this up, so um, let's open that up and a nice little fizz. So it's only been a bottle just for over a week, so um, we might not have a massive amount of um, life in it, but actually, it seems like it's having a nice life in it. Yeah, so that's pouring that nicely. Yeah, pours nicely. You've got a little bit of head there, um, which is good. And remember, our beers are this one is a bottle conditioned beer, so it ferments away in the bottle. We get that extra condition. From the fermentation in the bottle okay so it gives it um, a nice natural carbonation rather than um, having fizz injected into it okay and gives a better depth of flavor that's the idea of it uh, but you do have to pour it slowly because there is that uh, use at the bottom of the cup of the glass now there's still a little bit of haze to that uh, probably because it is just um, bottled about, about a week because what happens is that over that time with bottle conditioned beer, you've got the yeast in there, the yeast sinks to the bottom of the bottle. And that normally takes about a couple of weeks for that to happen. That first week can vary, it can be one week, two weeks, uh, but we um, you probably can't see it all that well, but there's a little bit of yeast at the bottom of there, and not all of it is probably sunk to the bottom there. Hence a little bit of haze there, but it shouldn't affect the flavour of the beer too much. Okay, a little bit of head on there. Uh, another week and it'll probably be even better. So if you do get some of these, Leave another week and probably even better. So, let's see a nice aroma there. So the hops in this, just so you know, it's um, uh, the bitter and hop is Pilgrim, so a British hop. And then the aroma hops that we use in this is a couple of American ones, Willamette and Cascade. So both sort of the American sort of citrusy ones. So you've got that nice citrusy aroma to that. Okay, and then let's just see what it tastes like, because I've not tasted this yet. So it's a new one for me as well. Yeah, so I was to say, yeah, it's a it's a strong golden ale, strong golden ale, so a stronger version of our Billericay Blonde. So you've got that bitterness that you get with our uh, Billericay Blonde that comes from the uh, uh, Pilgrim hops in there, and and that stronger five point nine percent alcohol just gives it that bit more body. Yeah, that bit more in oomph to it. Uh, you're still getting a little bit of. Um, a residual sweetness, so you've got the bitterness of the hops, but with that being 5.9%, you always get that little bit of residual sugar in there, so you're getting a little bit more sweetness than you get with the normal Billericay Blonde. Hmm. Uh, yeah, very nice, yeah. Doesn't taste 5.9%, but so um, you have to be a bit bit wary of it, but yeah, it is definitely, just taking my word for it, it's 5.9%. Now, quick word about the glass. Now, the glass is... Um, from the Chelmsford Winter Beer Festival 2013, I believe this one, 2014, sorry. Uh, now that's the 2020 um, Chelmsford Winter Beer Festival. It's the last beer festival I went to. It's this week, last year. Uh, and obviously not happening this year, sadly. Uh, and then it says beer in kegs. Now, real ale beer festival with beer in kegs. Sounds a bit weird, but those of you who know Chelmsford will, of course, know that kegs is um, King Edward Grammar School. Uh, which is um, where the beer festival happens. It always happens in half term, this half term. Uh, so it's a, the only beer festival I know that happens in a school, so it's always good to actually have a beer festival in a school, maybe an ex-teacher, um, to actually go drinking in a school. So, But they do a, one, it's a great venue, really, is to have a beer festival. So it's great at this time of the year. Obviously, you can't have a market out the, in out the field this time of the year, which you do the summer beer festival at Chelmsford, whether that's happening this year or... I don't know, but yeah, the um, which the winter one isn't, and the but the kegs, the King of Grand School, is a fantastic venue for a 
um, for a beer festival. You've got lots of seating space in the halls there, and then they can use the schools the school kitchens for their catering. So we do miss the fact that it's not happening this year, but um, hopefully it should be back on next year. So I'm just saying that because remember it would be in this year, it would have been this week, uh, this week being half term. Uh, and um, it was the last beer fest went to. Just a little reminder as well, um, you see that that beer that time was sponsored by, there's a couple of sponsors on there, um, on the glass to mention. We've got Round Tower Brewery. Um, Simon was a great brewer there. Um, it's a small brewery, started off at the same time as me, sadly no longer brewing, but it's some fantastic beer, some amazing beers. Um, but in line with um, lots of other brewers, it's always difficult to make, the, make it. To a viable business out of it, so it's, um, it's a tough world out there. But he, he, the good thing is that he brewed some fantastic beers, and I'm sure he enjoyed the, um, the experience of that. And then we've got Podger's um, Belgian Beer Tours there. So that was um, Podge sadly sadly um, passed away a few years ago. He used to do these brilliant be um, Belgian Beer Tours, and his partnership Warner has carried on doing those um, tours now. So he used to, I mean, I've, I've, I've never had the pleasure and honour of being on one of those tours but I've heard about the great we get some amazing tours of Belgian breweries and also you get the Belgian history as well so one popular one is going to the battlefields as well so uh, you look at the Belgian history as well um, and I mean there's such an amazing history amazing um, range of Belgian beers so that's um, and Podge he, he would always as well run the, um, a Belgian beer uh, bar at the Gentleman Beer Festival. So a very special guy he was, um, sadly missed, um, but as I say, he lives on um, in those tours still going on in our memories. Okay, uh, hi Matt, just joined us, so good to see you. So um, just have another cheers on a bit of um, Blonde Bombshell. Mm. Now, just to show you the bottle a little bit closer there, um, and you'll see we've got a picture of Rose, our own blonde bombshell. So uh, Rose, of course, she was the first person who worked for us when I first started up the brewery, working in the shop. Uh, and she worked um, Saturdays in the shop right from uh, 2013 all the way up to last summer. And then she sort of said that um, it's time to retire. Uh, so she's just enjoying a well-deserved retirement now. And we brewed this bit in honour to her. And she's got her, her photo on there. The lovely Rose, our own blonde bombshell. She was really chuffed about getting a picture on a bottle of beer, and we delivered some bit, some of this beer to her today. So she's really pleased with it, and I hope that she enjoys the beer as well. I'm sure she will do. Um, uh, so that's um, a bit of a picture of there. Um, the other thing to remember about uh, to uh, point out about that the label looks very different from uh, our normal labels. Um, some things are the same, the set setup of it. Obviously, the picture is different. Um, and it's one of our regulars, Tina, um, who managed to print those off. It's just, a, but I say this is a one-off beer, so we didn't want to get our proper label, sort of full of full design labels. We only got about 200 bottles of it. So Tina, one of our regulars, so good to us, so she actually designed the label and printed them off at um, a printer at work. So really fantastic, for Tina, for doing that. A massive thank you for doing that. So. We can do sort of short runs of labels for if you just want a few labels for when we get some of our special beers. And we might see one or two more of those appearing over the next few months, just where we've got short runs of bottles. So, bottles of this are available uh, now. So, I say, nice, yeah, we've got the nice hop aroma. I'd say it was a sort of a strong gold mouth, but it's getting towards an IPA. So, I mean, we, 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 if we've our sort of 6.5% version of this would be our Mayflower Gold. Again, similar recipe, but goes in much heavier with the hops. So this is probably, this hasn't got the hop level that you've got on a Mayflower Gold, but still it's getting there. You can definitely pick up you know, the aroma of those citrusy hops and the high bitterness comes with that. So IPO and then the Indian Pale Ale, one that's very heavy on the hops, um, both for bitterness um, and also for the aroma as well. And um, it's traditional British beer style, but um, it's been revived, it's been revived for years ago by um, the American craft breweries who started sticking loads of American hops in there and got some amazing 
aromas out of that. A lot of this is that time, I mean, if you've got an IPA in, in Britain, it tends to be a really low ABV with not many hops and it wasn't true to the real style, whereas a true IPA should be pretty strong and should have loads of um, hop, hop character to it. So this is closer to an IPA. You can argue about it whether it's got a strong golden ale or um, an IPA. Um, so, um, so we've got about, we'll, we'll probably only have around, only about 200 odd bottles of this. So do, it's a limited number, so do get in quickly if you want them. 5.9%, we've got the same beer in bagging boxes as well, so you can have it on draft. So that's going to be uh, very popular as well. Uh, so if you look, we sell them bagging boxes of that as well. 5, 9, 18, if you're really uh, brave, you can have a 35 pinter. But yeah, 5, 9 and 18 pints of that are really popular. Um, so other um, uh, bagging boxes we've got at the moment, we've got all our classic beers. So we've got our blonde Dickie and Zeppelin, the normal blonde, of course, 4%. Uh, Dickie and Zeppelin, then we've got a uh, rhythm stick, we've got sex and drugs and rock and roll, we've got the Mayflower Gold, the stronger one, so 6.5%, and we've got the we've got a very limited number of the stronger version of that, the 2020 vintage Mayflower Gold. And then as well, a one-off special rocket full of rye, 7% rye ale. So again, we've got a limited number of polythins of that as well. And we've also got a very limited amount of some dark beers as well, the barista are coffee porter. But we'll have some others coming up um, in the future. Hello, Rick, he's just joined as well, our brewer. Um, he did a fantastic job in brewing the beers. And um, hopefully some of you might have caught Rick the other night, on Tuesday night, on the Instagram TV channel of the Hopping in Hornchurch. It's a great microphone in Hornchurch and every Tuesday night. They have a television night where they um, taste a couple of beers and Rick appeared on it this week um, talking about bits in general and Clever Trevor in particular. And I'll be appearing in there in on May where we'll be talking about another couple of Billericay beers as well. So it's quite worth watching every week actually the, um, the, the Hopping um, TV channel, 7 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Okay, um, so we're just emphasised about we are open still for local delivery and for click and collect. If you do want to order any of those beers and poly pins, uh, uh, so you can have draft beer at home or in bottles, most of them are also available in bottles, then uh, you can order some of those online, so just go onto our website or 01277 500 121 to order them by phone or just email, drop us an email that's sales at billerickybrewing.co.uk. Okay, so um, other things coming up, just so you're aware, um, we've got pizza night this Saturday. Sorry to those, all of those who missed out last Saturday. Unfortunately, Chris, our pizza guy, his fan broke down, so he should, his, um, every, all of your orders will move to this coming Saturday, which means that all the other future um, pizza nights, we just do it once a fortnight, so you don't get too much of a good thing. Uh, so much more. So all of those will move forward a week as well. So if you've not, or if you've ordered your pizza from last week, then yeah, it'll still be ready for this weekend. Um, and if you haven't ordered, you can uh, try or order them by email tomorrow, by tomorrow evening at the very latest. Um, if you want to order pizza, so look at our website. It's got details of the pizzas you can get there and the menu. Or if you look at as your wood fired pizza. Then on their website, their Facebook page, their Instagram page, they've got details and you can look at the menu there. Fantastic pizzas. And of course, our beers go brilliantly with it as well. And if you do order some beers, remember, if you spend £10 or more on drinks there, we'll throw in a free bottle for you. Okay, uh, other things coming up. Um, we've got uh, the virtual quiz night is on next Thursday night, so a week tonight. So if you're taking part in that, then remember to, you, if you've taken part before, you should get an email from Seb about that. If you've not, then just drop us an email and perhaps you inform a team. You can inform a team virtually or you, um, your family can be a team. It's just a bit of fun and hopefully you can enjoy the quiz with a few of our beers next Thursday. And because the quiz is on Thursday, then um, next week the uh, uh, the Facebook Live will be on the Wednesday night, so it doesn't clash. So I look forward to that next week. Uh, um, other things happening, just to let you know about our latest Beer Hero. Remember, we award here, um, Beer Heroes. We also award some beer to people in the local community who are doing um, great jobs helping other people in the community. So 
Uh, this latest one, you've probably all heard about, the, uh, those of you who live locally in Billericay have heard about the great work that's being done at Emmanuel Church of the, um, the COVID vaccine centre, getting through hundreds of people there. And in particular, the thing that struck people is the amount of volunteers, it's from the Lions, the Round Table uh, and the Rotary Club, who are doing an amazing job of marshalling people, getting people in there safely, quickly, and getting them out again as well. And they've done, they've done a fantastic job, and they're our latest beer heroes. And how we're doing it, if you do want to contribute that, because obviously there's lots of those, we can't give beer to everyone, but if you want to donate a beer, then you you um, contact us, buy a bottle of beer, and we will donate, for every beer, bottle of beer that you donate, we'll donate one as well, so we'll match your donation. So that's something really great to hopefully do for those beer heroes. Okay, um, other things coming up, just to be aware of, um, we've got, I've spoken about all our beers, we've got some guest beers coming up in uh, bagging boxes, there are keg beers, we've just got the last knockings of Faith Beer from uh, Hazy Pale Ale from Northern Monk, a brilliant brewery, um, and then that will be followed, so it'll probably be into next week now, by Colonel Pale, which again is always popular. Uh, and also the other thing we've got coming in shortly, we've got some new, new um, special guest beers in cans from Beaver Town, um, but not the sort of the normal ones you see in the supermarket. We've got Black Betty, which is their amazing black IPA, absolutely amazing, one of my favourite beers that is, and their rye IPA um, uh, eight ball. So we have those coming in. They should be should be with us tomorrow. So. You might want to get your pre-orders in. If not, then uh, this weekend, then get them in early next week. So I've only got a sort of case of each of those, so I'm sure they'll go fast. Because, I mean, if you're not out, if, if you don't drink them, I'm sure myself and the rest of our team will be drinking a lot of them because they're, they're two of our most favourite beers. Okay, so all I can say is Blonde Bombshell, yeah, is a hit. Okay, I think um, uh, it tastes lovely as it is. Um, I think another week it will taste even better. So, hello there, Craig, joining us, one of our hop growers from last year. We um, talked about um, our community hop growing programme. So, that's something that maybe if you haven't joined in the past, it might be something you want to consider. Um, well, last year we grew um, some hops together, people grew them in our garden, and then we brewed a beer with them, hopped together now. And it was a lovely beer, it really did make a difference. We didn't, we, first year of growing hops, we didn't get a bumper crop. But even that small amount we've got really made a difference to the beer. It really did make an amazing difference. So if you're interested in uh, growing um, hops this year, look on our Facebook page. There's a post about it, and it's got a link there where you can buy the hops from and um, plant them in your garden. So and if you've got tip, if you've got any questions about growing them, again that website's got a lot of question, a lot of suggestions, but you can ask as well. Um, this time of the year is the ideal time for planting them. Okay, so all I can say is just say cheers, and I'll say I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Get some Blonde Bombshell, it's a great beer, okay? Uh, and then say there's, there's, there's Rose again, and say thanks a lot for um, um, all your work for us, Rose. You are a longer serving employee, uh, we miss you a lot. Uh, and I'm sure we'll still see you, I'm sure you'll still enjoy our beers. So cheers everyone, uh, keep safe and hope to see you soon. Cheers.